We all use it every day, hopefully not all of us at the same time. The john, the throne, the lavatory, the potty, the commode, the latrine, the privy, the toilet. No matter what you call it, public restrooms aren't always the most pleasant experience. The germs, unspoken etiquette, no one likes to talk about it. It can be a tender subject. But Brightsider, today's your lucky day. Have a seat. 1. Why are public toilet seats shaped like a U? Me? No, not you. A U. Oh. This isn't what they're like at home, right? So why the open center in the front of the seat? Well, there are two reasons. One is for plumbing codes. Beginning in 1995, it was mandated for public toilet seats to have this shape, an open seat across the board. The second reason is for hygiene purposes, to keep that part of the toilet as far from your most sensitive areas as possible, as it could have some unwanted droplets on it. Number 2. Do those toilet seat covers really make it more hygienic? Sorry, but no. Not significantly, anyways. The fact is, there are some bacterium in public bathrooms that only need one cell to get inside your body in order to make you sick, such as norovirus. That little space in between the U-shaped seat may still have dribbles of urine on it, and it will just soak through the cover. Your best bet is to squat. Number 3. Are some stalls cleaner than others? Well, kind of. It turns out that most of us gravitate toward the center stalls. Think about it. Do you tend to do this? In a study conducted by Psychological Science, one public bathroom was studied for 10 weeks. Oh, that must have been fun. Results showed that of the toilet paper rolls that needed to be changed, 60% of them belonged to center stalls. So the outside stalls are used less frequency. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're cleaner. Just because it looks clean doesn't mean that it is. Remember that norovirus I mentioned? 4. Is it safe to take my drink with me into the stall? Um, what do you think? No! Hey, we've all done it, but it's a really unsanitary habit. And putting a lid on your drink doesn't make it any better. Say nature calls, and you set your drink on top of the toilet paper dispenser, or even on the sink. There are over 3 million bacteria per square inch in that toilet bowl, just to give you some perspective. When you flush, all that bacteria is pushed up into the air from the bowl and that piping that sucks all the water down. All that bacteria will cling to your mug or cup. Yeah! 5. So, what should I do with my drink if I have to go? Well, it's best to leave your drink on your desk or have a friend hold it for you. But these aren't always an option. If you must put your drink or mug on the sink, put clean paper towels down first. Set your drink on it, do your business, and wash and dry your hands thoroughly. Grab another handful of clean paper towels. Use some to wipe the outside of your cup or mug and another clean fistful to carry your drink with. If needed, use the rest of your paper towels to open the door. Number 6. What exactly is the proper hand washing technique? While we're on the subject of hygiene, let's talk about the right way to wash your hands. Wet your hands under running water first. When it comes to the water itself, the temperature actually doesn't matter, just keep it running. Then use liquid or bar soap, preferably one that disinfects, and work it into a lather. Rub the soap on the top of your hands and between your fingers. Don't forget to get under those nails. You should wash for at least 20 seconds. Rinse your hands completely and dry it with a clean towel. Bonus tip! Need a way to keep track of those 20 seconds? Sing the happy birthday song twice. Out loud. Who knows? Folks behind the stalls might join in. 7. What if I'm loyal to my hand sanitizer? Ah, it's definitely better than nothing if the sinks aren't working or if the soap has run out. But keep in mind that it's not as effective as washing your hands using the technique I just talked about. Make sure your hand sanitizer is at least 60% alcohol. Know that hand sanitizers don't get rid of all types of germs. It may also be unable to remove certain chemicals from your hands, like if you've been working with metals or pesticides. But it's never a bad idea to keep some on hand. Now, here are some good-to-know tips for public bathroom etiquette. If you aren't handicapped, don't use the handicapped stall. 
many of us are probably guilty of it, but just don't do it. It might seem convenient if you have a bunch of shopping bags, but you never know when someone may come in who genuinely needs the handicapped stall for all the right reasons. So don't put your shopping bags on the bathroom floor anyway. A public restroom is not the time or place for a handshake. If you're out and you bump into someone you know in the bathroom, your first instinct might be to shake their hand or touch them with a greeting. Resist the temptation. We all know why we're in the bathroom, and your hand might be wet from washing, but the other person doesn't know that for sure. Don't talk between stalls or urinals. This one is especially for the workplace. You and your coworker might have gone into the bathroom together, but you don't know who else is in there or who else might come in. You don't want the wrong person to overhear what you're talking about. Plus, we all just want to do our business in peace. Generally, keep the restroom a quiet place. Some of us have to concentrate. When you're at the sink, stay focused. Experts say that chatting at the sink while washing your hands is a no-no. They say that you should just focus on getting your hands clean and avoid eye contact. Just get in and get out. Remember that it's a public restroom. You don't know who might be in there, and you never know if you'll accidentally make someone uncomfortable while they're on the john. There are way better places to have a conversation. Give people space between stalls. Whenever possible, don't pick the stall right next to somebody. Put a stall or two between you if the restroom isn't crowded. It's just weird and uncomfortable to hear someone else doing their most private business, and they don't want to hear you either. Keep in mind that in our own houses, our bathrooms are likely the most private room, complete with a lock, where we can enjoy our privacy. Not so much in public restrooms, so give people some space. Public restrooms are no place for your phone. Unless you have it on silent mode, it's best to refrain from playing games on your phone in a public restroom. It's rude to make other people hear the sounds, especially the ones coming from your phone. <clears throat> this goes for taking phone calls, too. Even if you're waiting in line, no one wants to hear your phone conversation while they're sitting on the potty. Even just having your phone out could put people on edge. In our world of social media, no one really knows what you're doing with that phone in the bathroom of all places. Don't let the TP get down to cardboard. We've all been in that gut-wrenching situation where we go into the stall of a crowded public restroom and there's no dang toilet paper on the roll. Ooh, what should you do? Experts say that it's perfectly fine to ask the person next to you to hand you some TP under the stall wall. Do the same if the poor soul next to you asks for some toilet paper. If your roll is running low, try to leave enough for the next person and let cleaning staff know that your stall was showing some cardboard. Don't jiggle the door handle. Say you're standing in front of a one-person bathroom, and you aren't sure if there's anyone inside. Don't go jiggling the handle or knocking. If there is someone inside, you probably just made them jump. Just turn the handle or knob gently to the left or right. If it doesn't move, that means it's most likely occupied because someone locked the door from the inside. If the handle moves, it's probably safe to proceed. Finally, use the fan, please. It's a little-known fact, but many public restrooms are equipped with a fan, also known as an exhaust fan. It will circulate the air in the bathroom in case you aren't able to leave it smelling as fresh as a daisy. There should be a switch on the wall. Look for it. Search for it. The next person will thank you. Some restrooms are stocked with air freshener, too. Feel free to use this as well. No one likes talking about doing their business, so the less evidence of it you leave behind, the better. Bottom line? <laughs> Bottom line? Now you do know squat about bathroom matters. Hey, if you learned something new today, give this video a like and share it with a friend. Here are some other videos I think you'll enjoy. Just click to the left or right, and remember, stay on the bright side of life!